Here's a good GRE quant problem. If x is a positive integer and x to the power of 2y is equal to 64, which of the following could be the value of y? We're going to select all that apply. Well, the best way to do this is to plug these answer options in for y. And if we do that and we solve for x and x turns out to be a positive integer, then we know that that particular value works. So let's, let's get to it. I'm going to rewrite it right here. I got x to the power of 2y is equal to 64, just so that I have that there. Um, let's start with 0 0.5. x to the power of 2 times 0 0.5 is the same thing as x to the power of 1. And if x to the power of 1 equals 64, well then x equals 64, right? And that is a positive integer, so 0 0.5 works. How about 1? If I plug in 1 here, I get x to the power of 2 times 1. That's x to the power of 2 is equal to 64. And sure enough, 8 times 8 is 64, so x could be a positive integer. Now, x could also be a negative integer. It could be negative 8 times negative 8, but as long as we have one positive case, it could be the answer, right? That's the phrasing. So 1 works. All right, how about 1.5? If, x, if uh, x to the power of 2 uh, times y is equal to 64 and we plug in 1.5 for y, then I have x to the power of 3 equals 64. Now, maybe you know your perfect cubes by heart, and maybe you don't. And if you don't, the worst case scenario on the GRE calculator, you'll have to poke around just a little bit. But you'll find that x is equal to 4 in this case. So that one also works. However, when I plug in 2, I get x to the power of 4, right? x to the power of 2 times 2. So x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. That is no bueno, right? There's no number that when I multiply by itself 4 times, or no, I should say no positive integer, that when I multiply by itself 4 times gives me 64. The same is true for this one when I plug it in, because I get x to the power of 5 equals 64. However, when I plug in 3 for y here, I get x to the power of 2 times 3, or x to the power of 6. 2 times itself, 6 times, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, is equal to 64. And so that one also works. So the correct answers here are 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 3. For more GRE questions and explanations, or to enroll in my 16-hour online course, give me a follow or sign up at the link on my profile.